Namaskaram friends. So in this video, I am going to talk about air pollution in Delhi. This issue is very much in news because every day near about De Diwali, this problem of air pollution in Delhi is occur. And it is the causes by stubble burning as well as lowering down the temperature of that region. So this is important because Delhi is the capital of India. And many political institutions, many financial institutions are situated in Delhi, many home of the minister, many important, important organizations, many diplomats, houses, many embassies are situated here. So the pollution of pollution of Delhi is increases in a very rapid speed. So it impacted the, the whole region and also people, maybe you, you can say key people who are a key position suffer from it. So and it is not good for the overall growth of the country. Can, you can directly relate it with it. And it also show a bad image to the other country, because embassy of different, different countries are situated in Delhi. So people of that country live in, Delhi, live in Delhi. So it impacted the health of that people also. So it's not only uh, problematic for our country, but it is problematic for other countries. Because other, other, in, in near future, other countries may not send their, uh, you can say, ambassador in India. Because if this problem is occurs, so anyone do not want to come in that region because due to air pollution many types of diseases occur and it burden the budget of health on, on our government it also uh, you can say burden our uh, you can say responsibility to take tackling the this tackling the prop, air pollution problem in a much faster way so government uh, take many different different in initiative but any government do not take a long term initiative to solve this problem but just like a political uh, you can say speech. They talk. They say this happened, that happened, but nothing is happened on the ground. You know, every year this problem is occur. So it is very important that we have to solve this problem. And in this video, I am going to talk about the region of that problem and where we must focus on so that we can solve this problem on a ground, ground uh, grassroots level, and so that in near future this problem not become so severe because it is a matter of geography. So we can't change the geography, but as much as possible if we stop the human activity what is in our head if we stop it and tackle it then many problem many level of problem is automatically gone natural pro in terms of geography in terms of weather this problem is not gone because it is a natural phenomenon but what uh, on what level we try to do our activity so that we prevent it like less even odd system like less poly poly uh, you can say vehicle vehicular poly pollution less stubble burning uh, give incentives to people so that they wear masks as, as well as less burning of crackers in the Diwali. So we can tackle the man-made problem, but we do not tackle the natural problem. So we have to solve on our area, on our uh, on our area which is strong, but and also understand the nature, geography, and overall atmosphere of that region. So in this video, I am going to talk about the causes of air pollution, of Delhi air pollution. So during the southwest monsoon, we know that southwest monsoon. In this picture, you can clearly see. In this picture, you can clearly see southwest monsoon has two branches. First one, just a minute. Two southwest monsoon have two branches. First one is Arabian Sea branch. Second one is Bay of Bengal branch. So this air from Arabian branch hit the western ghat. So it's the Kura range, Vindhya range, and Arauli, and go like this, and rain occur in this, this part of our country. And in terms of Bay of Bengal branch, this go here, but strike with the Arakan Yama and move towards the eastern part of the India, and they rain occur in this part of the country. So you can clearly see in southwest monsoon, winds are in easterly direction. That means it take moisture from the Bay of Bengal and rain occur in the parts of Delhi here okay so during the southwest monsoon the prevalent direction of wind is eastern i show you in the picture the wind travel from over the bay of bengal carrying moisture and rainfall in this part of the country this part of the country that means in delhi because i'm talking about delhi air pollution so southwest monsoon monsoon prevalent sterling is prevalent it take moisture from bay of bengal and carrying moisture and rainfall in this part of the country, that means in Delhi. Once the monsoon withdraw, the predominant direction of the winds changes to northwestern. Northwesterly, that means uh, this is the map of India. 
so earlier in southwest monsoon most of the winds are sterling but when the monsoon withdraw direction of wind changes in north westerly like this so if wind are blow in north west direction so this wind carry particulate matter essentially smoke and soot from cob burning punjab we know that punjab is situated in west part and to the area over delhi and then onward down to the gangetic basin so in another uh, you can say in north westerly wind carry particulate matter like smoke and soot from the crop burning punjab to the area of over delhi and then onward to the gangetic basin also not only delhi further it moves to the gangetic basin also the fall in temperature also contribute to the increased pollutant level this one is one cause stable burning in one cause but another cause is fall in temperature because also contribute to the increased pollutant level how because as it gets cooler as it gets cooler the inversion height inversion height means which is the layer beyond which pollutant cannot disperse that means a height let's say this one is dispersion height above which pollutant can't disperse so did they, they disperse till that level and as the temperature get down this inversion layer comes down so as temperature decreases the inversion height which is the layer beyond which pollutant cannot disperse into the upper atmosphere we know that if air is warm pollutant disperses in the upper atmosphere but in temperature is low just a minute got hang for some time so we are we here we are the fall in temperature also contribute to increased pollutant level because as temperature gets down the inversion heights also comes down so inversion height which is the layer beyond which pollutant can disperse into the upper atmosphere okay when that happens when the inversion height gets down larger concentration of pollutants in the air hang closer to the surface let's say this is the surface and uh, when temperature is uh, in summer season inversion height is at this point but in winter season inversion height is at this point so it's look like air is hang closer to the surface and lead to worsening aqi air quality index okay so two important factor first one is stable burning second one is uh, decrease in temperature because when temperature decreases inversion height decreases so air not got dispersed into the upper atmosphere so it look like a hanging near the surface so it worsens the problem of air quality index next one is the point to note here is this the direction of wind wind is north westerly in summer too but it is very high temperature in summer temperature is high over the indo gangetic basin that is so that pollutant that it brings like dust from rajasthan and sometimes pakistan and afghanistan does not hang low so north westerly is also blow you can say in the north westerly winds is also blow in the summer but in summer temperature is high so inversion height is high so pollutant got dispersed in the upper atmosphere and not hang in the surface but in terms of winter temperature is low inversion height is low so air is hang in the near the surface and it look like or you can say it create the uh, air pollution problem in delhi and also worsen in the air quality index so i hope you understand the whole phenomena of delhi air pollution important important point uh in this in this picture you can clearly see one image when pollution level let's say it is a picture in a winter season and this is a picture in summer season and in both time let's say westerly is blue but here temperature is low here temperature is high okay so remember important points related to this first one is causes of it is stable burning in and as well as uh, decrease in temperature and also in southwest monsoon in southwest monsoon winds are basic, uh, generally easterly so it take moisture from the way of bengal and rain is happening in the parts of the delhi okay so it also lower down the temperature of that region and contribute to worsening the air quality index in terms of uh, in when monsoon got over so winds direction changes and most of the winds are prominent like uh, north westerly this wind also get dust 
and other particular matter from Rajasthan, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. But during that time, but during that time, temperature is high, so it does not worsen in the air quality scenario in Delhi. So important, important point related to Delhi air pollution. Now we are going to solve one question based on Delhi's geography and weather condition that contribute to air pollution. First one is during the southwest monsoon, the prevalent direction of wind is easterly. Yes. Once the monsoon withdraw, the predominant direction of wind change to northwesterly. Yes. Here we can see that it take moisture from the Bay of Bengal and rain is happening in the parts of Delhi. Here we know that dust and Suits take dust and suits from the Rajasthan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan and blow over the Delhi and Gangetic plain. But at that time, temperature is high, so it does not worsen in the air of that region. Third one is the fall in temperature also contributes to increased pollution level. Yes, because inversion height is comes, inversion height comes down, and it looks like uh, dust is hanging near the surface. It is hanging near the surface. Uh, so option one, statement one, statement two, statement three, all are correct. That means option D is correct. Just check we are on the right path or not. Just a minute. Oh. Yeah, so option D is correct. So we are on the right path. Uh, earlier, this laptop is hang for some time, so I do not pay attention to this. So I do not know I cover that point in that video or not. But I summarize the full point once again. During the southwest monsoon, the prevalent direction of air is windy steadily. The winds travel over the Bay of Bengal during that time and carrying moisture and rain cold to this part of the country. Okay, this part of the country that means Delhi. Once the monsoon withdraw, however, the prominent direction of the wind changes to northwestern. These winds carry particulate matter, essentially smoke and soot from the crop burning in Punjab to the area over Delhi and then onward to the Gangetic Plain. The fall in temperature also contributes to increased pollution level. As it's cooler, the inversion height, which is the layer beyond which polluted cannot disappear into the upper atmosphere, comes down. And when that happens, larger concentration of pollutant in the air hangs closer to the surface of the air and leading to worsening AQI. After that, I talk about it. I do not pay, I do not focus on the recording, but during that time, computer is got help. So I hope you understand the whole idea behind it. And we solve one question on it. So I hope all doubt related to Delhi air pollution is got clear till now. So that's it. Namaskaram. Thank you.